Yo, 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 you already know, it's your boy Freddie, yo. Congratulations, Cannabis Sector. Congratulations, EV Sector. While the whole stock market was down, what stocks were going up, guys? I'll let you know about that in a little bit. I'll give you a hint. Maybe these Georgia Senate seats are gonna flip. Well, I kind of just followed it, right? All right, but I'll go into detail why I got, uh, I think that's gonna be. Please, guys, if it's your first time, please, uh, give me a like, man. Uh, you know, I do this on, on, on my lunch break or sometimes when I have time with my son sleeping. You know what I mean? I, I take my time to do these videos, so I would really appreciate uh, a like, man. Uh, also, guys, uh, if, it's, uh, if it's your first time, you already know it's your boy, Freddie Yo. You want that content from the cannabis, from EV sector, I do the research and I bring it to you. It's my, uh, subscribe to my channel. Let's go, guys. No time wasting. Let me get into what I got to say, guys. The Georgia Senate race, right? That's what we got coming up tomorrow. June or January 5th, guys. January 5th is the Georgia Senate race, all right? If those Georgia Senate seats flip, guys, if they flip, cannabis and EV sector will go up, guys. Um, everything, all the stocks in, in EV sector. Think about it. Uh, charging station sector, all that stuff, electric, um, batteries, all that stuff is going to fly if those Georgia Tennessee's flip. I'm going to go into details why in a second. And by the way, guys, I want you to know that this video means everything to me, guys, because uh, everything I, uh, everything's on this. All, most of my stocks are EV and cannabis. You know what I mean? I like these sectors. I believe they're going to make me a lot of money in the future. If these Georgia Senate seats flip tomorrow, guys, let me go into a little bit. If you don't know, listen, as we all know, the Moore Act was passed by the House of Representatives, right? They passed the Moore Act. Mitch McConnell, the leader of the Senate, blocked it from getting voted on, all right? Uh, they blocked it. They don't want it to pass. They have the reasons. Um, it's to benefit their, the people that, they, that sponsor them, basically. But they don't want to help cannabis grow because it hurts other business, uh, other, other, other businesses connected to them. But what does the MORE Act do, guys? Give you a little overview. The MORE Act makes it easier for cannabis to build credit or cannabis companies to build credit, right? And, and do banking, get loans and expand their businesses, right? Grow their business. What if it's a small business that makes really good product, but they just can't grow because the United States isn't letting them because they're considered bad. Get that out of here. Uh, also, decriminalization. The, the Moore's Act is going to help expunge records. If you got a criminal background, thanks to cannabis, get that out of here. Uh, it, it, should, it shouldn't be valid. You know what I mean? You're not a criminal for just chilling. You're a criminal if you went and killed somebody. You're not a criminal for sitting on your butt. And shame to the cop that arrested you and, and knew what he was doing. Knew that he was doing something that he wouldn't do to his own child but he was doing it to you. Um, also guys, uh, money for research to, to see what colleges and institutions can use cannabis to benefit. You know what I mean? Right now, uh, colleges and stuff, they will get in trouble if they start researching cannabis or if they use government dollars to research it. Uh, you know what I mean? We have colleges and institutions that want to find out the benefits. Maybe they can, it can cure cancer. Who knows, man? But we can't do it because the government doesn't want to find out. Obviously, because people in the government are sponsored by other drug companies, big pharma, that know if 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 people prefer cannabis over taking OxyContin, over taking Xanax to relax, they're out of business, right? Because people are going to do the thing that's not going to hurt them. So this is going to help um, and put the spotlight on why cannabis is good, which we have not been able to do. We haven't been able to show the benefits of cannabis. Well, we are now. It's, it's, it's coming whether you like it or not. But they've been blocking it. That, it's, 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 it's absolutely stupid. The, la uh, the war on drugs and the war on cannabis. Get that crap out of here. Also, the Morac helps create thousands, if not millions of jobs in the future, guys. Um... You know what I mean? Think about it. Uh, high paying jobs. I see offers. I'm from Florida. I see I see all the time. They say, you want a cannabis job? Starting like twenty five dollars in, in Orlando, in Orlando, twenty five dollars. You're, you're you're making a good living. You know, you're doing all right. That's good money. I don't know if that's good money in New York or whatever, but it, you're good here. You're, you're you're doing all right for yourself. That's a good paying job. Um, there's some people making ten dollars an hour. You know what I mean? So uh, starting twenty five dollars an hour. Uh, working in cannabis isn't bad. Um, also, guys, let's see here. Uh, the MORE Act, oh, uh, this is another thing about the MORE Act. It, it would also, for the, for the federal government to stay their butts at home and go after real criminals. Uh, the federal government will not be wasting 
uh, freaking government uh, money on, on, on putting down businesses that sell cannabis. You know, not, not even business, bad businesses. These businesses aren't selling illegal drugs. They're selling legal drugs and they're still shutting places down and stuff. What are they wasting their time on there? Isn't there criminals? Isn't, don't they got stuff to do? Don't they, don't they got real bad guys out there? And you guys are coming and, 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 and picking on these, li these little guys selling uh, cannabis? Come on, what's wrong with these people? And, and not only that, think about it guys, for years cannabis has been disproportionately targeted um, um, black people, Hispanic people, people of color, you see them go to jail more often uh, than, uh, 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 I don't wanna say, but you know what I mean? That's what they say, that, that you're more likely to go to jail if you're Hispanic for, for a cannabis, uh, a, you know, a cannabis charge, it's, it's stupid. I'm a victim of it, but that's, that's what they block. They wanna keep it like that. They wanna keep you going to jail for all that stuff. The prison system loves cannabis because it's an easy way to put somebody in jail. All right, and um, yeah, so Mitch McConnell blocked that, right? And so I think uh, the Georgia Senate seats, if they do flip, which I think is extremely likely, uh, guys, cannabis can and will go to the moon or higher if, if, if John Ossoff and Reverend Warnock are elected in Georgia for the, senator, for the two senator seats. Uh, I do believe cannabis is going to freaking go nuts. All right, I think EV is going to go nuts. I'll go to the, if you want to skip this and go to the second half of my video, you'll see why. Smash that like, guys, please. I got this great information coming up right now. You have no idea. All right. So I put, here's why, guys. Why, why do I believe the Georgia Senate seat is going to flip? Why do I flip? Why do I believe it's going to flip? Hear me out. Try to think unbiased as possible and actually use your mind. All right? Think the facts. Don't think, oh, my party. Think, think about your family, all right? Would you think about it? First of all, let's start with Senator Perdue. Senator Perdue chose to keep his mouth shut when he knew about the coronavirus and sold his stock just in time, all right? This doesn't have to do with cannabis, but the election, I'm trying to give you a little bit of knowledge as to what, what's going on in this election, why I think the, the, Georgias, uh, the Georgians are gonna pick the Democrats, all right? So he knew about the coronavirus, and what, instead of uh, saying, oh my God, I need to tell my people before they all get sick and this thing gets crazy in Georgia, what he did was he was told, keep your mouth shut, the coronavirus, let's, let's make the people believe it's not, people believe it's not bad, all right? It's not bad, it's not gonna be bad because he was told that, but he knows it's bad, he has uh, insider information that it's bad. So what does he do? He goes and sells all his stock before the stock market tanks. He, he, you know, and he, he could have told his Georgian shareholders, hey, guys, look, the stock market is going to crash. Get your money out. Get your money out. Hey, Georgians, how about you guys uh, go to the stores, get ready. Uh, there's about to be no food. Uh, there's, there's about to be, a, you know, people about to be buying up all the toilet paper. What? You know, he didn't prepare the people, but he damn sure prepared himself. All right. And people are taking notice of that. And if the people see that somebody's for themselves, they're not going to elect that dude. They're not gonna let that do, all right? And what I put here, a little sidebar, I said, he didn't believe it was necessary to tell his shareholders of his state so they could, uh, you know, just like I said, so Georgians didn't know about it, but Senator Perdue knew about it, you know what I mean? He made some money. He got his money out just in time. You lost your money, Georgian. I'm not saying you did, but if you would've known, you could've, you know, Made some money, lost some money, you know? You know how the stock market goes. All right, and let's go now. John Ossoff, guys. John Ossoff, talking about John Ossoff right now. Why I think he's going to get elected. Purdue is going down. You heard just why. John Ossoff is getting elected. This is why I think, all right? This is all my opinion. This is always my opinion. I'm just doing this for entertainment. But John Ossoff, the man sounds like a born leader, guys. Have you heard this guy talk? Look at, he looks you in the eye, man. This guy is cool. You know what I mean? He's a good looking dude. You know what I mean? And he really seems like he's going to fight for the people. And he's showing the people right now who he is. You know what I mean? He's calling out Purdue to his face and, and, and told him, he said, bro, you didn't tell your people nothing, but you sold all your stocks. You, you sold million dollars in stock and you bought back in when it was beneficial to you. You know what I mean? He called him out on that. And, and Purdue was like this. Respond, uh, uh, I have nothing to say. Another interview on Fox News of Purdue, 
They asked him, what, are you, what have you done for your people? The man responded, oh, that's a hard question. That's a tough question. What? It, what are you a senator for if you're not there for your people? And so I think this guy, uh, John Ossoff, is for his people. And he's brave, man. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna stick his hand in there and fight for you Georgians. So I do believe you guys ain't dumb. You guys are going to elect him. All right. Now let's talk about this robot uh, Senator Loeffler. You all know Senator Loeffler. She's the one that looks, that lady that looks like a praying mantis worth $800 million. Who, like Purdue, had the insider information and didn't tell her state, said everything was fine in the beginning of the coronavirus when she knew it was bad. And she also sold her shares and, and saved her money before she lost it like so many people did. And she didn't care to, it wasn't, a, she, she was told, you know, obviously she was, she had to block, huh, uh, you know, they told her, hey, don't say the coronavirus is bad. You don't believe it's bad. You know what I mean? And look at what happened. You know, pe she could have prepared her state ahead of time, but she chose to, you know, just like him. And what I put here, I put, Loeffler is super rich. She also hides news of the coronavirus intelligence, but still managed to sell her stock to benefit herself and not Georgian shareholders and the people who probably have a better chance to prepare like Loeffler and Purdue did. Okay? Um, that's what I got for the robot, uh, Senator Loeffler. That lady doesn't need to be, be there. She was never elected. Uh, next, Reverend Warnock. I don't got a lot to say about this guy. He's a, he looks like a very cool guy. I'm not in Georgia, you know what I mean? I'm just going off of my opinion, guys. But listen, Reverend Warnock, the guy has no competition. This is literally what I put. He has no competition. Loeffler is a robotic, unrelatable figure. Nothing for him to worry about. That's what I got for Reverend Warnock. You won, Senator Warnock. We'll see you tomorrow as Senator-elect tomorrow. Believe that. And Mitch McConnell is no longer going to be the damn Senate Majority Leader. And nothing's getting blocked anymore. And the people are about to get some assistance. Let's keep going. All right, guys? That's what I got you guys for cannabis. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If, the, if those Georgia sentences flip, which I highly think they're going to do. Also, guys, did I mention that Trump is, is, is saying the, that there's election fraud? If Trump's saying there's election fraud, it's super high chance the Democrats are going to win. And John Ossoff and, and Warnock are going to win. So cannabis and now I'm getting into EV are going to go up. Now, guys, let's transition. Let's talk about EV, guys. All right. Let's talk about EV. Just now I was watching on YouTube Biden speak, guys. Biden speaking in Georgia. John Ossoff speaking in Georgia. They were killing this freaking speech. Find it, guys. Get on YouTube. You know how to do that. Um, and and uh, what I put here. Okay, don't worry about it. Biden has, uh, in this uh, speech he gave to Georgians to go vote uh, for John Ossoff and Warnock, Biden has been mentioning the need for infrastructure, guys. He's just talking about EVs now. Uh, EV infrastructure. He also, guys, uh, so uh, when I say EV stocks, I'm talking about Neon, I'm talking about Expo, I'm talking about Lee Auto, all those stocks, that, that electrical stocks that can be boosted now. Uh, because of this, because the trend, uh, USA wants it, so that means they're gonna. All these stocks are gonna go up because of the demand. But he, uh, Biden also says he wants five hundred thousand charging stations by twenty thirty. Okay, twenty thirty. Five hundred thousand. What year is it right now? You know, I, I don't want to divide and say, oh yeah, we're gonna do split that five hundred thousand into years. But that's a lot of stations. That's a lot of work, right? And this is according to a Bloomberg article. I'll leave the link at the bottom. It's an old article from like December 2nd or something like that. But it's very valuable information that, that I can connect to today because Biden said it again. He was talking about EV and, and the need to, to change to, to electric. You know what I mean? Get away from uh, carbon emission. And uh, also, guys, so 500,000, like I said, 500,000 charging stations. He also wants to do 25 million electric vehicles in the U.S. by 2030. Damn. 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 That's a lot of freaking cars. Oh, my bad, guys. I, 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 I read it, and you know how some stuff hits you? Yeah, I'm live, guys. I'm live. I don't cut this. I don't, I don't do uh, editing like you guys got time to do. You know what I mean? I got kids. Uh, I'm real. Um, like I said, 25 million electric cars, guys, by 2030, Joe Biden wants. Also, $5 billion for infrastructure, guys, in the EV 
sector in the U.S. So, man, that's that's one of the reasons I think EV is up today. You know what I mean? EV is up right now big time because of that. All right, guys. Well, I put a little sidebar. Let me read it now because I think it's supposed to be at the end. Uh, and I put, oh, pfft, never mind. Okay, I put, maybe you guys know this, but I think the stock market is picking up on a Democratic uh, victory tomorrow uh, with, the, with the Senate seats. Because if the EV sector is up right now and cannabis is up, you know, the stock market always predicts is, is thinking in the future. So I think uh, the, somebody knows, somebody has insider information and somebody's watching in Georgia and, you know, talking for the stock market. And we're going to see uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell go into his hermit shell and disappear because he, his opinion no longer matters. Uh, uh, things will not get blocked. Cannabis, the more act in the future, will be passed. Uh, cannabis will be decriminalized. Uh, medical cannabis will uh, and uh, legalization of cannabis recreationally, medical, will eventually hit all 50 states. Um, also, also electric vehicles, as you guys see, Joe Biden is the president. That's coming. That's coming whether we like it or not. But obviously the stock market is seeing that it might be sooner than later. And their bet, it looks like the stock market's betting on uh, a Democratic win for uh, both Senate seats, which would make, um, which would mean that things would get passed and stuff would get done. In the state in the United States, more stimulus for the people, two thousand dollars stimulus for the people. All right, all right, guys. I'll leave you with this. I know this was a long video, but it's an important video, guys. I put lastly, guys, this video is so important to me. Maybe all of my videos, every single one, I don't know, 70 videos, 80 videos. I got I, I, my phone is the you know, I'm making the videos on my phone, but it's important, you know, like this is what it's all about. These stocks can go to the moon if uh, the two Senate seats go Democrat. And I'm not saying that to be biased, I'm saying that for your wallet right now. Um, lastly, guys, in this, uh, oh, like I said, if, if those Senate seats flip, cannabis will one day be legal and all USA will begin to smartly transition to the future, which is coming whether we want it or not. You know, like I'm, when I say smartly transition, I'm talking about EV, uh, carbon emission, getting away from that and electric, taking over and we all we see that's happening what are we going to do are we going to look at it and, and just be jealous of it or are we, are we going to move towards that can we start doing that united states of america geez you know what i mean let's make some money guys and uh yeah i, I put a little sidebar i made this video guy i make these videos guys uh because i love my shareholders you know what i mean shout out to you guys you already know it's your boy freddie yo guys if those Georgia Senate seats flip tomorrow, oh man, you think we made a lot of money in cannabis sector and EV sector today? Let's go, baby. The future is looking bright as hell. You already know it's your boy, Freddie Yo. Smash that like, subscribe to my channel. Let's make some money. Hopefully we win the freaking Senate tomorrow, guys. You already know we're making some money. Let's go.